This is the all new FN Reflex. This particular little baddie comes with a 3.3 inch barrel. It also has iron sights with a orange fluorescent surround with a tritium center. Has a cutout for your little red dots. Has 15 and 11 round magazines. It also has an ambidextrous magazine release. And then you have a little front little rail up there for your little doohickey lights and an all new improved trigger. Now, before I get into this video about this little thing, I just want to make sure you guys do something that's very important, especially considering the day and age that we're in right now when it comes to social media. Go ahead and uh, you see that thumbs up button down there? Go ahead and click that button for me and then click the share button and then share it to your platforms. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. So come on, do the thing. Do the thing. Do it. Do it. All right. So, the FN Reflex. I'm not gonna lie, I thought the name was a little goofy. <laughs> Reflex. Um, but the name is actually really fitting, right? Uh, but we'll get to that later on. First, I want to talk about conceptually. So what this is, is FN's new micro compact concealed carry focus gun. A lot of companies out there have already made their version of the micro compact concealed carry gun. Some of y'all are like, oh, you're late to the table. You're late to the table. And they kind of are. However, however, I'm never going to complain about multiple gun companies trying to make guns that I may want. Before you finish watching this video, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute's online courses might just be a good fit for you. To find out more, visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 today. So, I like micro compact guns because of the way that I dress, the way that I live, um, and I like it when they stuff a bunch of rounds in the gun. That makes me happy because it gives me a compact gun that's conducive to my lifestyle while giving me the necessary firepower that I may need if I have to defend myself with the firearm instead of relegating me to six or seven rounds. <sighs> that's neither here nor there. So first and foremost, looks. This thing looks basically like a little micro 509. That's essentially what it is. They took the 509 and they just micro sized it. And there it is. So basically it's like a little 509 mini me. And if anybody over at FN had any sense of humor, they would have called this the 509 mini me, which is probably why I don't own a gun company and I'm not in charge of naming names of guns. However, I will say it is, I've always liked the look of the 509. And usually when you take bigger size guns, condense them down in size, the proportions for me work out really well. So I like the way this gun looks. Now, there are two versions of this gun. The one I have right now is the version that doesn't give you the ability to mount a red dot on there. And then there's also the one that was at the beginning of this video, which gives you the ability to mount a red dot on there. Other than that, they're exactly the same, notwithstanding color, of course. So as far as the ergonomics on this gun, you know, like I said, it's the mini, it's the 509 mini me. So you get this kind of confused grip texture. Doesn't quite know what it wants to do. It just got this like tight granulated pattern here. And then you got these like square pattern here. And then, well, come to think of it, it's only two different patterns. So it's not as confused as I kind of made it out to be. But when you look at it and you don't really pay attention to the fact that there's only two different patterns, it does seem like there's a bunch of different patterns going on. However, I actually like it. It works. Um, the granulated texture and aspect of it gives you enough grip, but it's not so abrasive that it kind of hurts your little soft girly hands, right? But at the same time, you have the front portion of the grip with all the squares, which gives you a pretty, pretty firm grip on the gun. It almost kind of, the way they're situated almost digs into your gun, digs into your hand when you're shooting the gun. So I like that aspect of it. And with the 15 round magazine, it feels really, really good. It doesn't feel like you're missing out or shooting such a small gun that you don't feel confident with it. Of course, if I were to go and put the 11 round magazine, as you can see here, um, it's a little bit smaller and you really only notice that you're lacking, if I'm gonna be honest, at least for my hands, from back here. That's kind of where you get the impression that you're shooting a smaller size gun. However, when I go to the 15 rounder, it feels like a full size, full frame gun, with just a smaller width of a grip. From a shooting perspective, because that's really what people care about when we talk about these guns. How does it shoot? How many rounds does it hold? And how does it feel in your hand? So in my hand, it feels great. I like it, especially with the 15 round magazine. Shooting a gun, well, things get a little interesting because
theoretically, like the smaller the gun, the harder the gun is supposed to be able to shoot. And usually speaking, most people don't like to shoot smaller guns. As far as like, they, people like to put the smaller guns into this category of just being like functional, that's it. They don't just wanna to go to the range and shoot it because it's a small gun, it's gonna be unpleasant. However, that's not the case, uh, uh, especially with this one. Um, there is a noticeable uptick in recoil compared to say a full size 509, but that's to be expected. Beautiful thing about it is it actually mitigates the recoil enough where the gun is still enjoyable to shoot. So I don't feel like I'm constantly having to change my grip on the gun. I can still run the gun, maintain the gun the way that I want to. Running it fast, running it slow, the gun runs. Now that's where the reflex aspect of the gun comes in and I say it's pretty fitting. Um, you know, when I, while I was running it from a holster, doing from concealed carry and all that stuff like that, the gun seemingly kind of had this ability to kind of work with whatever speed that I'm working at. So whenever you're doing drills out here with the concealed carry aspect of it and you're drawing and then you're pulling out, yeah, when I'm sitting here and I'm shooting, you know, very calmly, very relaxed, you know, my grip may not be as tight, you know, things might just be a little played down a bit. However, when I'm going to draw and simulating a real world dynamic, the gun just kind of works with whatever speed you're doing. And a lot of that has to do with the type of recoil that this gun has because it, it's a it's a oddly bouncy, bouncy recoil. And here's what I'm not saying. It's not flippy, it's bouncy. It's like, if I'm going, if I'm being, cause I tend to have more of a herky jerky kind of movements. A lot of ways it's like boom, 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 right? So for me here, the gun works. Let me see, go ahead and grab. Here if I work and I want to run the gun fast and I'm like, uh, the gun bounces right back on the target. Not the gun bounces off target. It just bounces right back on the target. So when I'm ready for my next shot, it's already there. And so another beautiful thing is with this front, this front sight is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, it's orange, it just, it just sits. So when mass, most of the time when I'm shooting, all I notice is the orange sight. So noticing that orange sight, then having the gun sitting back on target as quickly as it does, it works from a reflex standpoint, oddly enough. So even though I thought the name was kind of goofy, it actually works. I still would have called it the 509 <laughs> Mini Me. But like I said, I don't get paid to name guns, even though I should. Ah. Now, let's talk about this trigger. It's a brand new style of trigger. And initially I thought the gun was a striker fired, striker fired gun, but it's not. It's an internalized hammer. And I can tell the difference by the way this trigger feels. The uptake on this trigger is really, really smooth. Just ignore the, you know, the little jungle fever that's going on right here. All right, so if you notice the trigger, look at that. It's a smooth, smooth, really smooth take up. And then you have the wall, and then you have the brake, and then you have your reset. Boom, right there. Right there. Now, it's not the shortest reset in the world, as you can see right here. Boom. But it is positive. And then you got the brake, which is crisp. Then you got your reset. However, all I care about is can I run the gun fast? And clearly, I can. not and that's another thing, like I said, this gun has a very reflexive nature about itself. And I hate that I keep harping on this name, Reflex, but I went from thinking it was goofy to realizing that's a very fitting name for the gun. Hammer triggers tend to, be a little, tend to be a little more smooth. And so if I compare this trigger to the 509 trigger, this is a lot smoother than any 509 triggers that I've felt. I like this trigger. If they could put this trigger on all of the 509s, I'd be a happy camper. So that's saying a lot. Of course, everything else, as far as this gun is concerned, you get kind of everything you need. So if you're looking for a gun that kind of gives you all of the accessory points, like you have that rail that you can put your little micro lights on there. And then you can, if you wanted to get the, the version that can give you the red dot on there, you can do that as well too. And then of course you have your 15 round magazine that kind of, there you go. It's very slim. It doesn't take up that much space. Not that much different. If you really wanted to go low covert, you got 11 rounds, that's 12, that's what, 11 plus one, 12 rounds total in a gun. And in this case, you got 15 plus one, which is 16 rounds in a gun. That's, that's considerable considering how small this gun is. This is a rather small gun, but also a rather shootable, shootable gun considering its size. So essentially what ends up happening is, 
Reflexes. 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 Yeah, that thing's gonna stop sending me guns after a while because they're gonna get tired of me making fun of names. But you got a reflex. Hey, just call the thing the 509 Mini Me. Stop playing. Oh! Price. <laughs> so, if you get the version that doesn't have the ability to put the red down in there, the red down in there, the red down in there, that's not even a word. If you get the version, <laughs> if you get the version that doesn't have the ability to put the red down in there, let's try this again. If you get the version of the gun that doesn't give you the ability to put the red dot on there, <laughs> you're looking at about $599 MSRP. So it'll probably come in a little cheaper than that in the stores. Um, and if you do get the version with the ability to put the red dot on there, stop laughing, Peter. <laughs> that comes in at about $629 or something of the sort. So there you go, price-wise. I think it's pretty damn competitive considering all the other guns that are in this space, in this class, in this category that are on the market. I like this little thing. So cute. Little mini me, 509 mini me. Reflex. Right now there's a culture war against the second amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia, the new Draco design, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link under the Keep America Tactical in the description section of this video. Or if you're watching this on mobile, tap the small triangle on the lower right-hand side of this video and click the link in the description.